So uh, it feels good to get that monkey off our back. Uh, you know, proud of our team for responding the second half. I thought uh, Providence really brought the toughness to us the first half uh, <clears throat> with their offensive rebounding, their physicality, and, and we were much better in that regard the second half. Uh, and we played 20 minutes of basketball against a good defensive team. <coughs> Excuse me. And only turned the ball over one time. So, uh, you know, Brace was outstanding. Um, you know, he's, he's our leader. Uh, he controlled the tempo of the game, the pace of the game, made good decisions in transition, and then made good decisions at the end of the shot clock uh, as we tried to take some time off the clock. So, couldn't be more proud of our team. Ty Kyrie did an unbelievable job on Bullock. Uh, we rolled the dice a little bit with that matchup and decided to put our, our power forward on Lindsey. And, uh, you know, Kyrie made us look smart because he did a terrific job on a really good player. Questions first for the student athletes. We got Kyrie Thomas on the left, Maurice Watson Jr. on the right. attention to what they were calling and I noticed that the big man was calling under but he wasn't staying long enough to stop me from getting downhill. Um, the lobs to Justin were there early um, which hasn't been there the last couple games so it was good to see that and um, guys knocked out some shots so I mean we were really clicking from all cylinders on offense tonight um, in the second half which made him hard to guard us uh, and then our defense you know got a solid transition um, and what we want to do is keep playing disciplined defense while our offense wears down on the other team as we continue to run and push it. For the student athletes? I just know how you feel. I'm you okay. I'm here to gotta win. <laughs> At the end of the day, I had to be ready for my team. That's what I wanted to do. So, we got a day off. I'll get some fluid, get some sleep. But we got another game against Butler. So, uh, can't let this wear me down. Just gotta get healthy. Well, when you take the quarter, do you think of like, man, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to go? Or uh, I mean, I think there's, there's always that uh, notion in the back of your mind. Uh, but I believe a lot of it's mental. Uh, get a lot of support from my teammates. And, you know, them telling me how much they need me, and I'm okay for 40 minutes. I'm growing up trying to be tough, play through injuries, big things like this, and while it's something new, you know, we have a great training staff um, with our trainer, Ben, who's been doing a great job with me all week. Um, you know, Coach Mag has been, you know, letting me sleep and, you know, giving me a couple reps off for practice, which I'm not going forward to when I'm healthy again, but, uh, you know, it's all in the day's work, and that's what you got to do when you want to be a good team. Continue with questions for Coach Greg McDermott. Selfish approach 
uh, to the game, it's it's easier to sell it to the rest of your team to make that extra pass. And I, I thought we had some shots that we missed where the ball really moved. You know, we swung it from side to side, inside and out. Uh, you know, those are the things that have to happen. That's kind of the recipe for success for us. And uh, you know, he was he was terrific. That was a you know he he, he controlled the game. There's no question. Teams seem to handle every run that the Friars run on and respond almost immediately with the basket. Can you talk about your team's ability to respond and kind of quelling what could have been a potentially hostile road environment? It, it, it's, it's good to see that, um, you know, because we're still growing as a team. I don't think this team has reached its potential, and that's something that, uh, as a coaching staff, you're, you're trying to gauge the maturity of your team. And, and today we showed a lot of maturity. Uh, we, were, we were able to respond in different ways. And in the past, we've relied a lot on the three-point shot, and we lived and died with that, and it was an important part of what we did today, but it, it wasn't what we went to when we really needed a basket. Uh, we tried to get downhill to the rim, have Justin put pressure on the rim, dive into the basket, <laughs> and you know, Kyrie made some great cuts as well. So, uh, and, and let's be serious and honest here. If, you know, Kyrie gets hurt, and that's a, that's a big blow to their team and changes what they do. Uh, so we certainly weren't playing a team at, at full strength the second. Fortunately, we hit some threes the first half. Uh, I think we're five or ten at halftime, so that changes your thinking a little bit uh, from the other sideline on what you're willing to give up. Uh, and you know, this was by far the best we've attacked the zone uh, when we played Providence. And Justin helps on that. You know, he's so long and, and such a good passer that you can flash him to the middle and let him spray it, or you, you put him behind the zone, and you really have to commit somebody there, uh, or we can flip that over the top, and he's dunking it. So. Um, our, our guys' patience was good. They made the extra pass. They used a shot fake and pass fake against the zone. Uh, all the things that you have to do if you're, if you're going to beat a zone. <coughs> you mentioned never winning here before. Today, you were able to come in here as a pretty you know, big ranking and, and overcome that. what has been a hostile environment. What, what did you see from the crowd? And what you did? Well, this, we probably, uh, the weather probably helped us a little today because uh, there were wasn't as, as many as we usually see here, and obviously I understand why. Um, but it's you know it's one of the places we we've, we've never been able to get a win, and, and you know we came in here with a good team, really good team, uh, our first year in the Big East, and, and really got pounded here. Um, and then with Chris and Ben the last few years, right, not many people had much success here, so I guess we're just a, a, in a long line of teams there. But you know it, obviously you lose two NBA players, and, and it's rebuilding the program, rebuilding the team. And, throw into that that Kyra gets hurt. Um, you, know, you take Maurice Watson off our team and that's quite an impact as well. So, you know, the things kind of fell um, to our favor today. One with the weather and then that unfortunate injury for Carver. Talk about your defense in the second half. I think you held it to 36 uh, percent. You're not known for your defense, but that, that certainly dug in in the second half. You know, we're, we're different offensively, but we're, we're also different defensively this year. And part of it is another athlete in Marcus Foster Kyrie Thomas has really taken another step as a defender. I think he's one of the best defenders in the league. Uh, and then Justin's Pat's ability to protect the rim changes us as well. So uh, while we put up some gaudy offensive numbers, our, our defense is probably, uh, it's where we've improved the most from game one to game 16. And I think it's where we still have the most room to grow uh, if we truly want to try to compete for a league championship, which is going to be difficult to do in a really good league this year. Two more questions. Your ability to take care of the ball, not just today, but over the past couple couple of weeks, what have you seen? Is that all Maurice, you think? Or? No, it's everybody, because yeah. everybody's got the ball in their hands. And I, I thought the first half, I thought we'd try to take a couple chances. I mean, we want to put pressure on you in the transition. We want them to think that we're willing to throw it ahead. If you, if you turn your head, we turn one over there. We turn one over trying to throw a lob. Um, and I thought we eliminated taking chances the second half got more out of every possession, both with our shot selection, and we took some quick ones the first half, especially when they made their run, um, and with our ability to make good decisions with the ball. So, you know, we've been a team that hasn't turned it over a lot. Uh, Providence has been a team that's forced a lot of turnovers, and that was an important statistic for us today. Any last question? It sounds like it. <laughs> it. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, uh, 
we've got our planes here ready to go, but uh, the pilots are tapping the brakes on that one, I think. So uh, I haven't enjoyed my stays here very much in the past. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm going to try to smile a little bit tonight.